Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. The lowly servant here. Welcome to my channel. Today is September 14, 2022, and we celebrate the Feast of the Exaltation of the Holy Cross. The first reading is from the Book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained against God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert? Where there is no food or water. We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment the Lord sent among the people seraph serpents, which bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people, and the Lord said to Moses, Make a seraph and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. Responsorial Psalm Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter mysteries from of old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them they sought him. And inquired after God again. Remembering that God was their rock. And the Most High God, their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths. And lied to him with their tongues. Though their hearts were not steadfast toward him. Nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin. And destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger. And let none of his wrath be roused. Do not forget the works of the Lord. The second reading is from the letter to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God. Did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him, and bestowed on him the name, that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Alleluia, Alleluia. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your cross you have redeemed the world. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Reflection God wants every one of us to be happy with him forever in heaven. Few scripture passages present this consoling truth so succinctly as that featured in today's gospel. Each year on this day, the church commemorates the discovery of the true cross by St. Helena during excavations in Jerusalem authorized by her son, the Emperor Constantine. From then on, the cross became more and more the symbol of Christianity, featuring in art but also in our very gestures. We have only to think of how we make the sign of the cross as a profession of our faith. That's the end of the reflection from the sacred space. Subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss out on my next upload. Be safe and always keep God in your hearts. Peace to all.